everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to 2000 Hours of Banjo. That right there was my attempt at vamping back up for Boil Them Cabbage Down and I really suck at it and that's okay. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about effectively quitting or better, not quitting. Um, I just celebrated my basically my first anniversary of playing banjo and in a lesson that I had with my instructor a few lessons ago, he said, congratulations, you made it more than most people. Um, I found that kind of curious and I ended up going on the internet and kind of researching like, well, how, how many people quit in the first year of picking up an instrument? And I came across a, a study or some data from Fender, the guitar company, that showed that 90% of the people that pick up a guitar quit in the first year. I did not quit and I started to wonder why I didn't. But first I had to look to see, well, why are people quitting? So I looked a little bit further and there's plenty, plenty of information on this on the internet. And what I surmised was that it's, it boils down to expectations. What are your expectations? If your expectations are very high and you're not meeting them, you get frustrated, you're not having fun, and then you quit. Playing an instrument, practicing, whether you suck or not, should be fun. If it's not fun, then it's possible the expectations are too high. Now, early on in my banjo career, if you're, <laughs> if you could call it a career, um, well, let me back up just a bit. I've only been playing for about a year. I got this banjo for Christmas from my wife at the end of 2023. I started sharing videos with my friends and family just by texting small clips that I recorded on my cell phone. Eventually, the, uh, the clips on the cell phone became too long to text, so I decided to put them on YouTube and send them to family and friends by private link. But then I decided I'm just going to make them public <laughs> and, and let everybody see how bad the worst banjo player on the internet plays. But I needed to come up with a clever name. So I started researching. Um, at the same time, I was kind of curious how long it will take me to get good at playing banjo. And this brought me to an article by Hub Guitar, um, because there's not really many articles on how long it'll take to get good at banjo, but there are plenty on how long it will take good at piano or guitar. And in this case, it was an article on guitar. I'm gonna put this, whoops, I'm gonna put this chart on the screen for you so you can see and follow along. But I came across this article and at that time I said I would try to commit an hour of practice a day, basically substituting the hour of TV watching that I did when I got home from work with practice. So, and this, this chart kind of broke it down. If I'm going to practice an hour a day, it's going to take uh, 156 days to be introductory skill level, 10 months to reach basic skill level, 1.8 years to reach beginning skill level, 3.5 years for intermediate, and then 6.9 years to reach advanced at 2,500 hours. Now my goal was to get intermediate to advanced, so I split the difference between intermediate and advanced and came up with 2,000 hours, which I figure is gonna take about five, five and a half years to accomplish. That is, where the name of my channel came from. That in part, along with Eli Gilbert's 30 Days of Banjo, which is the introductory banjo curriculum that I found on, the, on YouTube that I followed to get me started on banjo. So in part homage to Eli Gilbert, and in part due to this chart, I came up with 2000 hours of banjo. Now the nice thing about this chart and a nice thing about realizing how long it's going to take to get any good at banjo at an early stage in my banjo career is that I realized I'm just going to be a beginner for a very, very long time. My expectation was I'm going to suck for many, many years before I don't suck anymore. So when I'm practicing banjo and I'm making lots of dumb mistakes, the banjo itself just doesn't feel connected. It feels weird to me. I, I forget songs, I'm misfretting, um, I have to relearn a song all over again because I was doing something wrong that my instructor corrected me on. Those, those things 
if you don't accept that you're a beginner or even lower skill level than a beginner can be quite frustrating. Um, but since I don't have that mindset, since I have a very much beginner mindset that I'm going to suck for a very long time, I effectively unburden myself from all these mistakes that I make. And this came in really handy when I injured my finger. If you don't follow the channel, I injured my finger because I was, I was effectively playing with very bad hand posture on my left hand. And because of that, two things happened. One, I had to take three and a half months off to let the finger recover. And two, I basically had to relearn all my songs with the proper hand position. And if I had thought about how much time I had lost, because at that point I had put in eight months, an hour every day of practice for eight months, and I could, and it's not that I would effectively scrap all that practice and knowledge, but a good portion of it was more harmful than helpful. But no, again, knowing that I'm not even going to be close to good for five years, five plus years, taking three and a half months off, relearning some basic songs, really in the whole grand scheme of things is kind of a blip on that timeline. Yes, I didn't like it. In a way it was, un, it was frustrating, but it was acceptable knowing that I'm, in the grand scheme of things, I'm not, I'm not losing a lot of practice time by taking the three and a half months to rest my finger and recover. So anyway, if you're a beginner like me and you're feeling frustrated and you're thinking about rage quitting and giving up on your instrument, stop. Evaluate your expectations. Maybe reassess them. Take a good look at this chart and realize that all of us are going to be beginners for a very long time before we become any good at this instrument or whatever instrument you're playing. If that doesn't help, I don't know, maybe you can try finding another instrument that you're more passionate about. Uh, maybe there's other things you can try. But I really encourage you to stick with playing an instrument or starting any instrument or practicing. It should be fun. If it's not fun, reevaluate re your expectations and maybe it will become fun and you will stick to it. And hopefully in five years, me, you, everybody like us, we're going to be just fine. We're going to be playing really great and it's going to be awesome. All right. I got some practice to do. I'll see you later. Bye.